Atomic Habits talks about different strategies to kind of incorporate and maintain habits in a sustainable way. It focuses more on building processes than just setting goals. And it really emphasizes that we, we don't, you know, rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the, the level of what our processes are. So it really focuses on process improvement and making it so that whatever your process is for whatever it is you want to achieve is as sustainable as it can be. Some of the more practical ways that Atomic Habits helps you build those systems are things like habit stacking, where you stack different habits one next to the other in a way that cues your mind to go into the next habit once you've finished a previous habit. Um, another one is environment design, making it so that the environment around you is conducive to whatever habit it is you're trying to achieve. Ways that we've implemented that are the night before school, for instance, setting out kids' clothes so that when we get up in the morning, it's one less battle that we have to fight. Planning our meals so that we don't have that much more decisions to make in busy evenings and uh, with a lot of things going on. Um, and for me personally, setting out workout clothes and things like that so that it's something that I can just grab immediately and not have kind of that choice paralysis that lasts for 15, 20 minutes before I decide that's eh, just not worth the effort to go out and exercise at all. Um, things like that are directly from the book itself. And um, other things that we've, we've tried to incorporate as well are nightly, you know, bedtime routines, brushing our teeth, saying our prayers, um, being grateful, expressing gratitude, things like that with our kids and kind of modeling those behaviors that we want them to have as they grow up. Um, habit tracking and accountability is also important because you need a system where, you know, you or your family can track their habits and use a shared board or some kind of app that is easy to access and kind of inspires you to keep going like a chain of events or things that you can mark on a calendar or, you know, different streaks that are, are encouraging and ways to, ways to keep going. And then I think that consistency and routine are really important and something that helps you kind of maintain that system in place so that you have sort of that, that building block of each day you're doing the same thing and over time it becomes regular and a natural habit for you to, to, you, to continue doing. When you bring everybody into the fold, you know, there's that sense of ownership to it, but it's also something that the kids, um, it, it's the best way for them to learn and it's the best way for them to uh, really, for it to sink into them. You know, it's one thing to tell them something, but when we can model it as parents and when they can see us doing it and they know that it's important to us, it's something that we prioritize and if we're doing it, then it's gotta be good for something. And so that's something that we've, we've seen kind of over the years as we've, as we've been trying to, you know, build those habits and not always perfect, but trying to, trying to make lasting systems for our family that are sustainable over time.